Welcome to the first video in Leiden's Getting to Know Schoology video series. This first video is going to cover some of the key elements of the main navigation bar and the Schoology homepage. The blue navigation bar is going to appear at the top of every page in the Schoology platform. At any time, clicking on the Schoology logo in the upper left-hand corner will bring you back to your Schoology homepage. The Courses menu will get you to a list of all of the courses that you are enrolled in. One note here is that the last number in the section description is the period number of your course. In this example, this PE 910 class is an OL01. That's an online class. This Global Studies ends in a 03. That's a period three class. This algebra two ends in a zero one for period one. And this digital literacy ends in a zero two, which is a period two class. There are a couple of different ways for reordering your tiles in your courses menu. One of those ways is to click on your My Courses link and then the Reorder Courses button. Now you can drag and drop your courses into any order that you would like them to appear. In this example, I'll put them in period order. Period one, followed by period two, followed by period three, followed by my online course. When I close out of this and click on the courses menu now, my courses are in the order that I saved them. The next menu in the main navigation bar is the Groups menu. A number of Leiden coaches and club sponsors have been setting up Schoology groups to share information with their membership. If you're included in any of those Schoology groups, they would appear here. Now let's talk about a couple of elements of the homepage. By default, when you get to the Schoology homepage, you're going to see the recent activity screen. This will include all of the comments and all of the posts from all of your courses and groups on one screen. To the far right, you're going to see a column for overdue assignments and assessments and upcoming assignments and assessments. Again, these will be from all courses that you are enrolled in. At the very bottom, you might see a request for a group invitation that you can click on to accept. Well, that's all we're going to cover in this first video. Thanks so much for watching, and please make sure to check out the other videos in the Getting to Know Schoology series.